welcome, folks. This is Tom O'Brien of TFNN. We are five days a week. We are seven hours a day. We go 24 hours a day in the internet at TFNN.com. Always remember, folks, whatever you think about, you bring about whatever you focus on grows. Hope everyone's having a great day, safe day. Make it a great week, folks. Be impeccable with your word. Release the, le the need to be right. When you believe something, you assume you're right. You may even destroy relationships in order to defend your position. Let go of the need to defend your position. Market wise, let's take a look at it out here. We have the Dow Industrials down nine, NASDAQ up 27, S&P's up three and a half, gold contract up $14.40, trading at 1566 an ounce. Silver up two cents, $18.17 an ounce. Light sweet crude up 16 cents. $63.21 a barrel. Notes and bonds. You get the 10 year down five ticks. 129.07. The 30 year off a half a point of 15 ticks. 157.26. And King Dollar. King Dollar down 164 ticks. Trading 96.674. The euro is at 111. The yen is at 108 and a half. And the pound is at 131 to 1 US dollar. Our phone number is 877 Just call, folks. Want to know what's going on in your world? In the world of the S&Ps, let's take a look at them. What do you have? Well, you know, markets, folks, we've been talking about the dev uh, how deviant markets are. Bottom line is that uh, you you're seeing it uh, in spades, okay? So if we, first off, you take a look at the SPY, what you're going to see out here. SPY shook it off um, on Friday. The S&P was down. Uh, we, we had a spread. Well, actually, let's go to the S&Ps so you can see how dramatic the spread was and exactly what, we, what we're looking at out here. So on Friday, when they uh, took out the uh, Iranian general, you had the S&Ps uh, basically moved down 57 points. Okay, we went from uh, 3263 to 3206. Bottom line, rejected lower price on Friday. Market came halfway back. What do we do out here this morning? Bottom line, you get into the lows, you reject the lows, this market still wants to go test the highs that were generated out here on Friday. Pretty amazing, but bottom line, it is what it is. The NQs, if we take a look at the NASDAQ um, and the, the NDX 100, folks, leads the market higher, leads the market lower. Bottom line, NQs out here, what they had done last Friday now, they broke topside and they had the volume behind the move. What's going to be intriguing in here inside the NASDAQ composite as well as the NDX 100 is that they had taken out your swing point from the 27th of December. They had the price move, they had the volume move, and that's a monster ABC structure on the, on the way up. So the real question is going to be, do we just get a test of these highs out here, or in fact, you know, the ABC is not broken, meaning that this price, price projection is a very large price projection. Inside the, here, I'll go over to the NDX 100, since we'll use the three Qs, and you'll see what we're talking about here. You know, the, your B point on this is 214.56. Your A point, I'm going to bring that back down to the December 3rd. Now, when you, if you look at my chart from December 3rd, that was a bad tick on the way down. They haven't fixed it. Bloomberg hasn't fixed it, which I'm really surprised. But the bottom line, I know it's a bad tick because I remember when it popped up. So your B point on this is 214.56. Your A is uh, 202.14. I'm just going to ballpark that. So you get about 12 bucks. That'll bring the Qs of 32, no, 22. That'll be like 222. And right now, you're at 215. So bottom line, you can get a lot higher inside the NDX 100 as well as the S&Ps. The small caps, bottom line, July of 2018, they still can't get traction. Pretty amazing, actually. You're at 165.48. When you take a look at these small caps out here, uh, the high that was generated was on July of uh, 2018 at 173. Yeah, and we'll see whether it's going to basically go for it, but uh, hasn't been able to get any traction, and that's with many equities at all-time highs. The mover inside the NDX 100 today, Google. Google's a monster, man. Google traded to 1396 today. It's still up 28 bucks. You're trading at 1388. Notes and bonds, they continue to want higher price, lower yield. And uh, each time that, that the market tries to run them off and write them off, guess what? They come right back. And what you have out here now is if we take a look at this 10-year, uh, November 7th is your benchmark. We had come down hard November 7th, come down almost two points 
and the 10 year, which is almost unheard of. Uh, you got a point and a half down, full out. Uh, we came back, we, we tested that on the 13th. It rejected that low, goes topside again, came right back at us, and then retested it again on the 19th. Now, the 19th of December, folks, that test was on an anemic volume. So when you get down into the price area of 127.5 inside the 10 year, there's no sellers. And the 127.5 127 correlates to about 2.9% in the 10 year. And once they get down there, the bottom line, the market bottom line starts buying them hand over fist. And you can see it the, on Thursday and Friday, contract value went up from 1.2 million contracts. On Friday, we did 1.8. Bottom line, this is building cause now to break the small consolidation at 130. And it looks to me like the 10-year once again wants to get up into the 132. If we go take a look at the yield chart, what you're going to see inside this yield chart, you know, if you, most times, well, I almost got to go back 10, 15, 20 years now for not volatility inside the bond market. The bond market, folks, is so volatile now, it's, it's just amazing. We've, we've gone from 1.94 on Thursday down to 1.75 this morning. That's, that's quite a move. That being said, guess what? The way this is set up, it looks like the game is going to be on once again down to the 1.50 oh, mark. And we'll see where this whole thing uh, is going to shake out. Gold. Gold contract, uh, bottom line, monster move in here. And what you're going to see in gold, folks, is this. We haven't seen moves like this in over 20 years. Uh, and what I mean specifically, geopolitical moves. There, there's been plenty of geopolitical situations also, and gold didn't move the same way. You know, I've been doing the gold report for, what, 24 years or something. Um, this is going to be a whole different year for gold. I do think we're going to go take out the highs uh, over that 1900 area. Bottom line, you did 100% move or move. It gets over the September highs, gives it up in price. What does that set up? That sets up pull pullback. You know, uh, inside the gold market, what I expect we're going to see is that it will pull back with light volume, build more cars to what? To go topside once again. Stay right there, folks. Everything's green. Sherman Williams, they went to Sherman Williams. They get that green. They're painting it nice. Come right back.